Welcome all you Torians to your weekly energy update. And this week I usually put out the weekly energy updates by element like fire signs, water signs, etc. But this week Spirit wanted me to do a weekly energy update for each individual zodiac sign. I'm not sure if that's what they're going to want me to do going forward, but I'm excited to do it this time. This of course is for April 24th through May 1st, but these are also timeless. So if you find yourself coming across this video outside that time frame, I would trust your intuition and still watch because I'm sure there are messages for you. If you are watching this during that week though, on April 30th we have this Taurus new moon that's coming in, bringing in the beautiful Venus energy, that's what rules Taurus. And so there is this energy of rest, of self-love, of this self-nurturing that is going on. And we're just going to use this reading for this week to find out what the Creator wants you to know. What can you rest about? How can you self-nurture yourself? Or where is that self-love um, can be focused. So we're going to start off with these Ask Your Guides Oracle and just see where in your life you could use those things. And as I'm shuffling, just any of the cards I use during a reading are all listed in the description box below. So if you see any of these and you're like, wow, I want those, you know how to get them. <laughs> all right, so for Artorians, oh, okay. <laughs> What would you like them to know? Boom, right away. Yeah, Grace, Holy Spirit. So this is a beautiful card here. And I love that. So definitely there's this connection this week for you just around giving yourself grace and not being so tough on yourself. Letting a lot of those judgments go. I mean, look at this little person. You're like jumping for joy here because you're not being so hard on yourself. And that is card number 39, which I opened up right to the page. This is about harmony, beauty, prosperity, elegance, all wonderful energies of Taurus. And the Holy Spirit is filling your life with grace and ease. You're aligning with your purpose and your discipline and focus are paying off. Everything you touch seems to transform into prosperity and beauty. This is more than luck. It's the reflection of the Holy Spirit flowing through you. The more you surrender to this divine energy, the more you'll be gifted with synchronicity and flow. Trust your immediate impulses and act on them without hesitation. The Holy Spirit is helping you make the right choices at the right time. Your greatest challenge is to hold on to this joyous and natural, healthy self-esteem and now, uh, and sorry, and not allow others to throw you into self-doubt. Believe in your dreams, your spirit, and yourself. Pray for the strength to keep your focus clear and your heart open. And the Holy Spirit's message is walk in grace, all is well. So I really love that. So definitely this week for you is about really paying attention to your intuition. Listen to the voice of spirit. Trust that, you know, gut feeling that your heart, get out of the mind and really get into the heart and follow that this week. Don't allow others to take you off and out of your joy. I love the phrase, you know, be happy for no reason at all, and then no one can take away that happiness, right? So sorry for the glare on here. Let me see. Let me, maybe I'll turn off this one here. Yeah, that's better. All right, there we go. See, so take the, take the outside light off, find it from within, and then it's not so glary. <laughs> All right, we're also going to pull a card here from the power of surrender and just see what else the creator would like you to know. But I love this. This is about finding this wonderful connection within your heart with spirit. And, and that's where that true joy is, right? All right, so what else would you like our Torians to know? Okay, they actually do want to this one right here. Yep. Surrender to non-action. 
This says, now is the time to be still and not act. Simply breathe and focus on your own power. Let others come to you. So I like that because this one talked about take action, take action, follow your heart. This one says surrender to non-action. And what I love is like there's this inward, outward. Take action on your innerness, on the inner guidance. But this outside stuff, surrender to non-action. Don't act on the outside based on things on the outside. Like it says here, focus on your own power and let others come to you. So you don't have to do like um, action that is influence, like this card talked about a little bit of by outside influence. Follow your heart and don't act on things just because it's what other people want. Allow those things to come to you. Surrender to this beautiful assistance that you have from the higher realms. We're going to dig a little deeper, of course, and we're going to pull from these tarot of the divine and just see what else the Creator wants you to know around this. But definitely, if I can shuffle, they um, are wanting you to focus on the inner world this week. Doesn't mean you have to be a, a hermit, but it does really reflect to spend time reflecting inward for your own sake. <laughs> so what else? Okay, okay. Actually, they do want to this one, and they want to this one, and they want to that one. None of those others. What else? Okay, they do want to that one, and that one. So let me just get these straightened out here. All right, and let's start with this one here. You do have the Hierophant, which is a great step up in spirituality. The Hierophant is like a spiritual leader. And for your, your reading, this card is meaning that you're taking a step to a new level in your spiritual life, in your spiritual awareness, your spiritual wisdom and education and you are taking this next step. And so there is this, of course, this message that we were already talking about here about connecting to the spiritual realm is going to be an important thing for you this week to really ground your energy. But it is this taking a step to a new level. The fives, this is a, here fun is card number five, is about this change of perception. And that makes sense here where you're changing your viewpoint. And I really even like in this picture here, she closes her eyes because she's not looking outside. She's looking inward. In fact, this beautiful unicorn horn coming out of her third eye is like this antenna connecting to the spirit world. So I really have this high priestess energy in here too, where it is about really connecting to your spiritual side this week is such an important thing. Even outside the norm, you might already be like, well, I'm already doing stuff, but it's like, this is the week to really do that, and that makes sense because, of course, this is the Taurus new moon coming up. It is your moon, so this is huge for you, huge opportunity of letting things go and moving into this new, uh, new journey, this new phase of your life there. Yeah, because here's the Knight of Swords. Knights, of course, all have a quest, and swords are your thoughts, your beliefs, your mindsets, your attitudes, the way you're perceiving the world, your expectations, and every knight has a quest, and the quest for this knight here is the Ace of Swords, and the Ace of Swords brings this beautiful ability to connect to the capital T truths of the higher realm. So this totally is, you know, fitting with the story that's unfolding here for you this week. But it also has the two-edged sword. Not only does it allow you to connect to the capital T truths of the higher realm, it allows you to cut away those small T truths of the human world, of the fears, of the conditional love, all those popular opinions, those expectations, the shoulds, the need tos, the have tos, the supposed tos, the musts, all those things you're able to cut away that free you to see things from this higher perspective. Yeah, because here you have the Wheel of Fortune and we have the number 10 here, which is endings and new beginnings. So there is this change of 
fortune in your life, but it's the change of perspective and the change of things unfolding. Because there's a story that Spirit gave me around this uh, Wheel of Fortune card, which is before you come down here, your higher self chose when it was going to arrive into this game and when it's going to leave the game, what avatar or character it's going to experience this life through, which is you, your shadow side, your ego side. And it also chose all these faded events it wanted to experience throughout its life here in order to understand itself more by experiencing the opposites it more fully understands the higher things so you know all these uh, small t truths that are being cut away it's because they no longer are serving a purpose for you which they have you know they are the ones that allowed you to experience frustration and sadness and depression and resentment and anger all those lower vibration energies of fear in the human world but in experiencing those you more understand the higher vibration emotions of our, our realness which is back home the true pure joy and happiness and unconditional love and laughter you know that is our natural state and so this wheel of fortune basically is this message that within every moment you do have a choice even within all these faded events each moment that comes across your path you get to choose what you want to feel about it you get to choose what story you apply to it and i know when they first told me that i was like i don't feel like i'm making a choice and they showed me in a very gracious and uh, patient way they were like look back at your life when you were younger you were conditioned to believe that when this thing happens, this is how you're supposed to feel. When this things ha uh, happen, this is what it's supposed to mean, what story you're supposed to apply to it. And it was reinforced over and over where it became my habit to believe that, then it became my reaction. So when something happened, boom, that's what I thought, boom, that's what I felt. But they showed me that if you can take a deep breath and pause when you feel the emotions start to bubble up, take a lot of deep breaths and slow it all down, then you don't have to react the way you used to. You get to choose how you're going to respond to it instead. And whereas you had a story that you apply to a situation, you can change that story. When you had an emotion to feel about a situation, you can change that. Again, examples like losing a job or... Uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, having someone break up with you in a relationship. You know, both of them can be toxic relationships. You could have a toxic relationship with a job or with an individual, and we fear not having another job or not having, you know, another person to love. And so we'll stay in toxic situations, even though it's not for our highest health, right? So when a company breaks up with us or a person breaks up with us, we're taught, you know, the popular opinion is, oh, devastation, this is horrible. Now I'm supposed to be angry about this and this means I'm a failure, this means I'm not good enough, blah, 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 blah. You know, you know all that stuff. I don't need to repeat it all, right? But then we can create a new story around it and go, you know what? Thank you for being the one to end it because I didn't want to be the one to end it. Thank you. Now I am free to move on to a job that I'm going to enjoy or to a person that's more in alignment with my new journey, the new stage of my journey. And instead of feeling devastated, I can feel grateful and thankful and excited. And that is the power that the Soul of Fortune is reminding you that you have. So I love that. We move from feeling like our life is this out of control drama train about to leap off the tracks and blow up in a gorge. Instead, we see that life has all these faded events and that we have the power to choose what it means and how we're going to feel and then we don't fear the future so much because whatever comes it doesn't matter we used to fear the future because we feel we're out of control that happens this is what it means that happens this is how i'm supposed to feel but when i realize i get to choose those things whatever comes i could say I'm going to be happy and joyous and grateful the rest of my life. And people are like, oh, how can you say that? You don't know what's coming. It goes, it doesn't matter 
what's coming. I get to choose that and I'm going to choose that every single day. And if I forget for a moment and choose an old way, that's okay. 10 seconds later, I can choose differently, which is our power. So I love that this is coming in here for you. And then you have the Four of Cups. So cups are our emotions, and the Four of Cups basically represents that there were these, you know, three cups that were given that were are supposed to make us feel whole and complete relationships, situations like jobs and education, you know, like circumstances and things, our bodies, our possessions, our bank accounts. But we eat and drink of those things and we, even though like this peacock, they seem so enticing in that they're, you know, uh, we've been told they're supposed to make us feel whole and complete. If it does at all, <laughs> moments later, we feel hungry again and thirsty again. They do not fill us up at all or for very long. And we just get more desperate with it. But that's okay because that's the design of this life is to show us, you know, it's unstable and disappointing because relationships, people change or pass away. Situations never stay the same. And of course, things break down, deteriorate or are stolen. So that's why those things are unstable and not fulfilling. But here, the blue bird of happiness is on the Ace of Cups here. And this Ace of Cups is what's being offered to us. And that is the unconditional love of the upper realm. The unconditional love of the mother and father of all things, the Holy Spirit. Just that's our normal state of being. And that is what we're looking for. That is what will fulfill us. The fours are a very stable energy. And if you think of a table with very, you know, four big, huge legs, it's a very solid, strong foundation. And so this is all about bringing in emotional stability for you during this week. And that's what happens when we let go and disconnect from these small T truths that no longer serve us and connect to the spiritual realm. We realize just how loved we are, how loving we are, and how lovable we are. <laughs> yeah, nine of coins, nine of pentacles, and here is our, our beautiful feathered friends, the Holy Spirit, all of our posse of spiritual beings there with us alone in this garden. And I talked about in the beginning about the hermit, and the nines are all the hermit energy, which is the nine and major arcana. It is about finding what you're looking for within the coins and the pentacles is like your self-worth, your worthiness. And I love the nine of coins because this is them alone in a garden except for spirit. And you have found everything that you needed inside of you. Not here, you know, and all these things here, but in the Ace of Cups looking within you have found your own worth so this is a beautiful message coming in here i'm also going to pull a card here from the celebration of love oracle let's see what else they would like to tell you for this week so what else for okay right off the bat there yeah sharing light priestess in this, like I mentioned before, this is very much like high priestess energy. <laughs> well, here she is, the light priestess, bringing the love from within, letting it fill you up and flow out to the world here. Let's see what else comes in here for this card too. But that is very much that confirmation for me that this is about, you know, that high priestess, she... Um, which is in the major arcana, she goes behind the veil, she goes to her temple, and she connects to that moon energy, to the higher realms, into the unknown. So she's very much this energy we've talked about too. So this image celebrates the magic of myth and legend, and we're called to dream how ancient thought forms rode the threads of time and now are woven into the beautiful tapestry of our human ancestry. Extend the magic of joy, like the joy, right, to a stranger. Go out of your way to do something nice for someone, no matter how small it is, without expecting anything in return. 
Send them a blast of love from your heart and send it through your smile and your eyes. The special message for this card is you're being inspired to break out of the cocoon of control that certain others have had over you, right? Send them love, joy, and blessings. Have an inner dialogue, and inner is even in quotation marks, with them affirming that you choose to be free from their control, no matter how well intended it was meant to be. So this is all this internal uh, conversation going on with yourself, not really with them, but you're letting go of that control that they had over you. Offer gratitude for this lesson and be aware that you would never exercise this type of control over someone else either. So yeah, this is definitely letting go of the control, the people pleasing, trying to do what you think everyone else is thinking you should do, trusting your, your gut, your instincts, your heart, doing that which you're finding within. It's all over the place here. And also, in doing that, you're releasing the opposite of you trying to control other people. You're going to let them live their journey and their adventure, and you're going to seek after your own journey and your own adventure there. I really feel like this is really standing out to me, too, that this is like, here you are in the garden. Here you are running in the garden with your feathered friend. So <laughs> definitely there is this inner <laughs> uh, message here for you. And then lastly, we're going to pull cards here from these divine directions and just see what the final message is that the Creator has for all you Torians for this week. So, oh, none of those. Okay, that one there. Whoa, okay. <laughs> yep, and they said all of these, so we will grab all of these, see what final messages and guidance and advice they have. Yeah. <laughs> so wait. Take time to think about the matter at hand. Don't be attempted to rush. So there is this, again, this non-action here of when you have this urge that is a fear to people, please. They're saying, wait, don't, you know, rush into that pause like we talked about with the, uh, you know, the Wheel of Fortune and making decisions. It's like, wait. Take a deep breath and then look to your heart. Don't go off of your reaction. Deep breaths and choose your action instead. Passion. Passion isn't confined to sexual energy. Life is meant to be felt. Don't hold back. And this passion is this coming from within because this really reminds me of Juan's energy, which Juan's energy is your passion, your drive, your ambition but it's your energy and this is about connecting to your inner passion not trying to again live up to the outside but trusting your heart trusting that spiritual energy that comes from within you yeah energy <laughs> try to keep a positive energy by surrounding yourself with positive people so definitely i want to put this energy over here too but yeah this is definitely not uh, feeling like you have to be around situations, people, whatever in your life that's not making you happy. You know, a lot of time we think, well, you, sh you should, you're supposed to, you need to. And it's like, no, you don't have to. You get to follow your heart at this point in your life. You've gone through so much. I really feel that with this Knight of Swords, the cutting away of those old ways of thinking and believing. You're ready to move on from them. They've They've done the deed, you've learned your lessons, you had that contrast and that comparison, but you're ready for this new stage of spirituality in your life. Yeah. Strength you have an enormous amount of strength and courage, remain focused, stand tall, and shine. Yes, trust that innerness. The strength card, actually, in the Major Arcana 2, is about connecting your human side to your higher self and walking hand in hand. And I really feel like that is where this next step is, is you've had a lot of the ego experience growing up and experiencing all that pain and suffering and that amusement park of fear rides, and you felt alone and abandoned, but you have been connecting to your spiritual side for a while. But now, instead of feeling like you're uh, 
you know, spirit needs to destroy your ego and beat it up. It's like you're joining it together because you're, you know, the four of cups here, those three cups, that is what is making our ego so frantic, so desperate, is because it's starving to death. It's It's been wanting unconditional love and your higher self is who can give that to you. The Holy Spirit in that world is what gives it, and that's why it can come together and walk hand in hand instead of trying to destroy something. It's like that, I think it's a Snickers commercial where when people don't eat, they turn into really nasty, mean people. Or like, uh, I think it was Don Rickles, that, you know, with those uh, people who uh, criticize people, you know, the comedies uh, people, and, and he's like, rah, 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 and they give him a Snickers bar, and he turns back into this little old lady who's very nice and sweet. <laughs> That's kind of what I feel. This is trying to tell you is connecting to your spiritual world, connecting to that unconditional love is what you've been hungering for. Yep, and affirm. Create your own affirmations. Think of think of words or phrases that inspire you, and write them down. Yeah, definitely. Uh, look for those positive things from within, and and they're just cautioning you on these two. Don't let them be the old ways of thinking. Let them be from your heart and from spirit. Those things that are true affirmations. You know, those things that you really want in life. Your final card is home. It's time to renovate or change something in your home environment or move home. So I really feel like this is this movement that is happening within, you know, home is where the heart is and you're going through this heart change because you're trusting your heart. So I love, love, love this transformation that's happening for you this week. I really feel that you've been headed toward this direction and you were so ready for it. This is like the spark this week that just takes you into a whole new place in your life. So I love this for you. If you are looking for even more messages of love from above, in addition to these weekly energy updates, I also put out monthly readings for each zodiac sign, which Maze is also coming out this week. Um, I also have a few other types of videos that I put out, so if you don't want to miss any of those messages as they come out throughout the month, if you give this video a little thumbs up and click this like button, also click the subscribe button that gives you access to this notification bell. And when you go in there, if you select the all option, then you'll be notified of any new videos that come out on this channel. Also doing those things helps spread the love because when you like a video or you share a video, you comment on a video or you subscribe to a channel, doing those things just makes the YouTube algorithm so excited wants to share these videos with other people as well. So if you uh, feel inclined or inspired to do any of those things, I'm definitely grateful for that. Also, these are general readings. If you're looking for even more specific information for your specific life, I do offer personal readings and all that information is listed in the description box below. All right, Torians, as you go through this amazing week and every second of every day of your life, please know that you are unconditionally loved by the creator of all things. And of course, I love you too. Have an amazing week. I'm sure I'll be talking to you very soon. And in the meantime, you hang in there and you take care.